Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, welcome back to another video of uh, Tizzy has no content because he has no money and can't buy cards. So today we are going to be talking about PWE shipping. And for those of you who do not know, PWE stands for Plain White Envelope. Uh, so PWE shipping is a lot cheaper than shipping through bubble mail, bu excuse me, bubble mailer through USPS or UPS, whatever you do. Um, but it's also kind of a smack in the face if you don't tell your buyer that you're shipping it through this because there is a little more risk of damage uh, just because it's an envelope. They don't, I don't think you're technically supposed to ship things that aren't letters and envelopes, so... I'm always very cautious with it, but today we are going to talk about uh, shipping because I got an email today, so I guess I think the title is going to be a little clickbaity, but I got an email today from EA that has a new shipping plan for single cards, or not maybe not single cards, but cards up to three ounces. Uh, so we're going to talk about that after, but before we do that, let's just talk about how to ship PWE. So I had no clue excuse me, how to do this, when I first uh, had my first request, there was a guy from the uh, trading card database asked me to send it, excuse me, Ooh, PWE, and I, I had no clue, so I had, I had to look up a video, and the jabroni helped me out pretty well, but those of you who do not know, uh, you will take your card, let me get my cards here, uh, I forgot to do what I wanted to do, so don't do it exactly how I'm doing. Because that is very, very wrong. So you will take your cards. You can either use a tops loader or two pieces of cardboard or the decoys. I don't have decoys or cardboard next to me because I was too overzealous with starting the video. So I will take these as an example. So say we're going to send out this Cliffy Hockey card. You're going to take two tops loaders. Don't use real cards that are inside these when you do it. You're going to sandwich them like that, and you're basically going to take some tape, tape them up, and that will keep the card inside secure. You also obviously want to put a piece of tape over here so it doesn't slide out. And you can also, what I like to do is, let me tear out a piece of notebook paper, because the Lord knows I'm not using it for classes. I like to take it. Oops. Take it and a bit like this, and then take them like that. And it'll fit perfectly in the object. You'll be able to send it out. So before you do that, though, you want to, for those of you, I know we have a lot of younger <laughs> demographics here. For those of you who don't know how to send out a letter, you want to have the person you're sending to, you want their name on top, their address here, and then their, if you're in the States, you want their um, town and then state and then zip code. Then if you're in Canada, obviously town slash city, province, zip code. And then in this top left corner here, you want to have your name, if you want to put a return address, just in case something weird happens. You know, same thing, address and town slash province. But what I'm excited to talk about today is the new eBay tracked shipping through PWE. Uh, so when I first saw this, I thought it was going to be uh, for like uh, normal shipments of cards, which I was really excited about, but apparently that's not true. But this is very good because it does offer track shipping at a very good price, I will say. You're not going to get any lower than maybe 275 if you're shipping in-state uh, through first class. So basically, it works as the same as most click and ship, I believe. Uh, you just print out your label, and I think you stick it right where the stamp would be. And yeah, it works with cards up to $20, so you're not going to get like your high-end cards, which you shouldn't be shipping PWE anyways. Um, but this is this is a good thing. So for one ounce, for a one ounce uh, 
envelope, it's going to be 51 cents. A two ounce envelope, it's going to be 71 cents. And a three ounce envelope, going to be 91 cents. They really had to jip you for that extra cent. Um, there's also some envelope details here. I am. This is what they tell you not to do for any presentation, is to read off the slides. I am reading directly off the eBay website. Uh, so you want to have an envelope that is a minimum of five inches by three and a half inches, and a maximum of 11 and a half inches and 6.125 inches. Man, they couldn't have got a lot more specific with that. But it's uh, important to note that this will not work with bubble mailers. I'm very disappointed by that. Uh, no plastic. No, it has to be a paper envelope. But that being said, that's a last episode of Tizzy Has No Content, so he rambles for a while. And thank you all for watching, and I, I hope you learned something. So if you're selling on eBay, uh, take advantage of this if it's a low-end card. And I will repeat this again. Do not sell your Wang Rescue Rookie card and put it in PWE. It will get destroyed. That's just how the world works. So I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.